Hi, this is Mallory Mitzel from Industry Weapon. The PowerPoint Publisher module allows users to upload PowerPoints and have them automatically converted into campaigns that you can schedule to your player's channel. To access the module, you'll first sign into your Command Center account and navigate there from the dashboard dropdown by clicking the modules link or by selecting the modules link on the right hand side. Once you've clicked this, you're going to open up your module section. You're not going to see the same extensive list that I have here, but you'll see any modules that your organization has purchased for your Command Center account. For the PowerPoint Publisher, it's orange, and you simply just click the icon in order to open up the module itself. Now, there are three main things that you can manage within here. You can, one, upload your PowerPoint files, you can secondly replace existing PowerPoint files and thirdly you can set custom resolutions. Now to upload a PowerPoint file simply click the upload PowerPoint button. Here it will open the uploading screen. First give your campaign a name. Next choose the slide duration. We recommend that you pick a slide duration higher than 15 seconds. That way it gives your viewers enough time to see the information appear on your actual digital screens or endpoints. Next, you'll choose your format. This is based on how your screens or endpoints are oriented. I'm going to leave mine to horizontal and that will dictate what templates are available to me. Now templates are simply the backdrop or background that's going to get applied to each and every slide. So I'm going to choose one of my templates from the drop down here and it will pull in a little preview below. There is an orange overlay and this is where your slides will be placed. You can choose resolutions whether you want one to be full screen or have an option so that it has a ticker or you can take and choose a custom resolution. The only way you can resize this box though is by grabbing that bottom right hand corner. Take that box and place it wherever you would like based on your template's background. Once you've positioned it where you'd like it to go, you can actually save your resolutions. So if this one is going to be for all my fun facts, I can save that resolution and you'll see that this resolution name will change to whatever I've just titled it. Next, choose your PowerPoint file. When you click browse, it's going to bring up your computer's library. From here, you can highlight that PowerPoint file and we can take PPT as well as PPTX. Click open and it will pull it into this field. If you'd like to receive an email notification when your PowerPoint has fully uploaded, simply check off this box. I'm going to click Upload File and it will begin the upload process. Allow the system about 20 to 25 minutes in order for your PowerPoint file to fully upload. And again, we cannot take PowerPoints that are over 50 slides. Once a PowerPoint has fully uploaded into the system, you will be able to view it. In fact, if you want to view any of them, you simply click the Manage icon and it will take you into that PowerPoint campaign that was generated. You can change and manipulate this campaign however you see fit. It is an active campaign and there are as many campaign slides as there were PowerPoint slides when you uploaded it. If you do make any changes, of course remember to save those slides. If you've uploaded a new PowerPoint file, remember it's important that you schedule your PowerPoint campaign to your player's channel in order to see it play back. If you have a PowerPoint campaign that is already playing back as part of your digital endpoint, you can replace it at any time. Simply click the hyperlinked name to open up that PowerPoint's information. And if you scroll down towards the bottom, you can click the browse icon. Once you browse for a new PowerPoint and click upload file, it will replace it. Remember to give the system enough time to fully upload that new file and then for that change to reflect on your endpoints. The last item is your custom resolutions. If you have a particular X and Y offset as well as a width and height that you would like to save for future use, you can do so. Of course, you can always save whatever you drag and drop within the uploader screen. When I click on Manage Custom Resolutions here, it will bring all of my existing ones, and of course, I can always type in new ones. 
Remember, you can edit and delete if need be. If you have any questions or would like to find out more, email us at support at instruweapon.com or give us a call at 877-344-8450.